In the previous videos, we talked about analytical reasoning questions in detail. Now we are coming toward quantitative reasoning. Quantitative reasoning is a complex and highly advanced psychometric test. It measures a person's ability to use mathematical skills to solve equations. In this section, students will demonstrate the ability to understand and communicate mathematical principles and to follow an extended line of formal reasoning. A student who is competent in quantitative reasoning can read and identify mathematical information that is relevant to a problem, interpret and analyze mathematical information presented, select appropriate methods and apply them to solving problems, estimate and evaluate the validity and reasonableness of results, effectively communicate quantitative concepts using standard written English and correct mathematical syntax. Now the types of quantitative reasoning. The first type that we'll discuss today is average questions. In ordinary language, an average is a single number taken as representative of a list of numbers, usually the sum of the numbers divided by how many numbers are in the list. Here we will learn important types of word problems based on average. The questions are mainly based on average or mean weighted average and average speed. Ratio problems are word problems that use ratios to relate the different items in the question. A ratio is defined as the ordered pair of numbers A and B, written A slash B where B does not equal zero, and proportion is an equation in which two ratios are set equal to each other. Have a look at the mentioned example. The main things to be aware of for ratio problems are. The first one is to change the quantities to the same unit if necessary. Second, write the items in the ratio as a fraction. And third, make sure that you have the same items in the numerator and denominator. Percentage, a relative value indicating the hundredth parts of any quantity. A percentage is a way of calculating how much there is of something about the whole. Percentages are used very widely in both mathematics and everyday situations, and they are really useful for understanding relative amounts and making them meaningful. In the given example, the percentage of students who passed in English and maths individually have already included the percentage of students passed in both subjects. So, we are subtracting the percentage of students who have passed in both subjects to find out the percentage of students who at least passed in one subject. A type is arithmetic question. Arithmetic is most probably one of the first few subjects that you learned at school. It deals with numbers and numerical computation. It is the foundation for dealing with other topics of mathematics. Arithmetic includes topics such as whole numbers, place values, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, factoring, fractions, decimals, exponents, and others. Here in this section, simple decimal or fractions questions will be given you will have to solve them. You can get an idea from the example mentioned below. The profit and loss formula is used in mathematics to determine the price of a commodity in the market and understand how profitable a business is. Every product has a cost price and a selling price. Based on the values of these prices, we can calculate the profit gained or the loss incurred for a particular product. The important terms covered here are cost price, fixed, variable, and semi-variable cost, selling price, marked price, list price, margin, etc. In this type of quantitative reasoning, we will talk about work rate problems. Work problems have direct real-life applications. We often need to determine how many people are needed to complete a task within a given time. Alternatively, given a limited number of workers, we often need to determine how long it takes to finish a project. Here we deal with the basic math concepts of how to handle these types of problems. To solve a work word problem, multiply the hourly rate of the two people working together by the time spent working to get the total amount of time spent on the job. Knowledge of solving systems of equations is necessary to solve these types of problems. Questions on ages are the most asked questions in the competitive exams and students find it a little tough and confusing. Problems on ages are a common theme on which questions in the quantitative aptitude component of practically all government exams are based. 
The topic of problems on ages is one such topic that is not only asked in the first or preliminary phase of the examination, but also the mains portion of the examination in a pretty tricky manner. Although the questions in this section may appear to be perplexing and difficult, if a candidate grasps the concept, he or she will be able to simply answer them. In mathematics, a set is a collection of elements. The elements that make up a set can be any kind of mathematical object, numbers, symbols, points in space, lines, other geometrical shapes, variables, or even other sets. The set with no element is the empty set, a set with a single element is a singleton. They may ask you different types of tricky questions related to sets and their types. Algebra is an important topic of mathematics, under which symbols are used instead of numbers. Also, this topic is very important from the point of view of various competitive examinations, because the questions related to it are asked in every government examination. Algebra is based on solving the equation of variables, constants, and extracting the values of variables. Algebra does not consist only of equations, polynomials, fractions, infinite product, number sequence, quadratic or form, new types of numbers like numerology, arithmetic, etc. are studied in many subjects. We all know that speed is the distance traveled by the time taken. The problem of speed usually involves something or someone moving at a constant or average speed, and out of the three quantities, speed slash distance slash time, we are required to find out the missing one. However, information regarding the other two will be provided in the question stem. These were all about the quantitative reasoning questions.